Hey everyone, it's Amanda with Americana Gardens and today I am actually working inside my house uh, for my indoor garden, if you will. So, if you can't tell, I have a new uh, like buffet stand, if you will, right here. I actually had it in the attic and I brought it down and I'll go into more detail there. Tons of plants, total chaos, and I got my baker's rack right there. Again, total chaos. It's gonna be all redone and you guys are gonna join me too. Back here, I moved this hutch that was right by the window. I moved it right against the wall and I love it there. But again, it's just, it's a mess. It's a mess. I got stuff right there that needs to be done. I need to put things away. And the only thing that kind of looks nice is right here. I love that philodendron. Well, it's not even a philodendron anymore, right? I forget what it's classified as, but it's like the fingerly one. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to be like a multi-day project. Um, cleaning things, rearranging things, which is so fun. I love to rearrange things and like kind of like playhouse, if you will, uh, and do some interior design with my plants. A lot of people just have their plants like on a shelf and like that's it. I really like to incorporate it into my living space. You know, it, it becomes more of an ornament uh, versus just like on a shelf. Yeah. So I see a lot of people struggle with that. And um, my theme here is like very rustic, uh, but elegant too. Um, very old fashioned. And I put that vibe in with my whole plant decor uh an area that i'm gonna do hmm what area should i do i should probably do right over here right like this is the new table um yeah i'm gonna do right over here where the new table is uh clean it all up i got dusted and things like that and um see what kind of display I'm gonna get on over there. So, I love, love, love this stand right here. It's open, I love the designs on the, um, like the metal work here. Actually, I don't even know if this is metal. I don't know. Uh, no, I have a feeling it's not. I was kind of disappointed I got this off the Facebook Marketplace and I thought it was, uh, but it's not. Okay, so I got some goniums here. I'm going to have to clean up, trim off some of the dead here. But hey, this is pretty unique and like ornate looking. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling it. And I like this in goniums because I could have it trail up and kind of like look wild, right? Um, up here, I just kind of put plants up here to put plants up here to get them out of the, out of the way. So I'll have to clear all this out. Um, and then I can clean it and kind of make a design on what I want to be here. So, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to get this started. Cannot wait. Guys, this is the lavender I have from my yard. I cut it myself. Um, I was actually at a lavender farm a few days ago I posted a video of it and I'm actually just making little bouquets and I'm sending them out to three people from my subscribers you will have to go and check out that video I'll link it up here and I'll link it down below um, for like more details so but mm, smells so good isn't this pot so freaking cute with the little mushrooms I got this at Rite Aid which is a drugstore for like three bucks maybe um actually shoot i was gonna go there today and like pick up some other pots because they're all like 75 percent off now so but um there is another pot in this one this is actually my pink princess like i don't know some people are all calling this a marbled one i yeah like that's really cool this is the newest leaf right here
So I didn't know what all the like fuss was over these pink princesses, but then like this marbled one or this like type of variegation came out and it's like, that's pretty. Even the stems, like, yeah, like do you see that type of variegation in the, uh, the petioles there? It's a pretty plant. All right, this one right here is uh, my alocasia black ninja and I alocasias are like one of my favorites so beautiful I love that high contrast veining and look at that leaf oh it's beautiful uh the leaves are like very very textured yeah see that that's really neat I got new leaves coming like right in here um I think a few of my alocasias actually got spider mites, so I'll have to be treating those shortly, but um, this is a beautiful plant. There was like some brown on this one and I cut it. You see the hole? <laughs> um, but anyway, this is another pot that I got from a drugstore for like three bucks. And you know, this is like, like pushing out a lot of corms. Do you see those little corms right there popping out? There's a bunch of them. So, I think this plant's doing all right. It's one of, it's, this is like one of my favorites. This is beautiful. And this one right here, this Calathea. I love the colors, like that ice blue and then like the blushing uh, pink and then they have the dark undersides to them. Yeah, that's that's a pretty one right there. And this is like one of the Calatheas that I did not kill, so it's still it's still hanging on. And there's lots of new growth coming in. You see all that? That's all new growth. So very beautiful. And this is a new Syngonium that I got. I got it um, for like five bucks or something at Home Depot. But I love the light green and then the dark green variegation. Yeah, I mean, that's that's a pretty plant. It's just a little baby now, but they're they're very uh hardy resist um no, they're very how do I say it? uh abuse and neglect <laughs> resistant. They're a strong plant, so. It's actually a really good one for like beginners and uh people who want like a plant fast a big plant fast all right up here this is a zz plant the regular green ones it's actually doing really well in this uh like clay type of pot i have a few of these i got these last year and i want to get the black or what they call a raven zz plant Ooh, i think that'd be really really pretty this is another new addition. This is a uh, silver lace ferns. I love, love, love ferns. Alocasias and ferns are like, and philodendrons. I mean, I just love them all. It's hard to pick a favorite. It really is. Yeah, I really like this fern. Uh, it probably doesn't look the best because you see this right here, like where my finger is. It's bent stems. I don't know how this happened. It, like, it just seemed like it just overcame with its weight and snapped. But I think that probably happened when the lady at uh, Home Depot, she put them in the bag and I think it just got smushed. So I'm actually going to cut these. Mm, poor babies. Alright, and there is the pile of broken uh, fronds from the fern, and this is what I'm left with. This got butchered. It needed it, right? I mean, I only have like a few of these stems that are not broken. Um, however, if you look really close, there's tons of new fronds down below. 
So this, this should get bushy again. It was a really beautiful plant, so definitely want to keep it. And this was only five bucks, and this was like the only one at the store. Only one. And this right here is a skindapsis that my friend gave me. Um, we used to work together at Lowe's in the garden center. Shocker. But um, yeah, it's beautiful. It's doing really healthy. I did take a few cuttings off of it. But um, I don't think I'm going to put terracotta on this table. I'm actually going to put it on my baker's rack. I think I'm going to have more of a terracotta pot theme over in that area. And this beauty right here is the uh, lemon and lime philodendron, I believe. And this one is actually by Proven Winners. They have a their house line plants out, um, and it's doing really well. Like I'm gonna have to get this on a moss pole because you can see all like all this like brown dots right there. They're actually roots. So it wants to root. It wants to climb. So I'm gonna get it out of this pot not today um but i will have to eventually and soon and here is another fern it is an asparagus fern this is its newest leaf right here uh the newer leaves have like more of like a lime green coloring compared to the older darker green foliage like you could even just see the contrast right there new leaf on top the older growth is on below I love these. These look so like look. Can you see the like the architecture? Like look, that is so beautiful. It's the they're very flat and then they have these long stems, so it's just a very architectural type of plant. This one is getting kind of bushy at the bottom, but I think I can actually separate this. Yeah, I'm looking at it now and i'm gonna go ahead and try and separate this so i got a plate down so i can work on i got some potting mix ferns are always like heavy feeders so you always put them in soil that are more oh look at this the ro the roots are just like popping out of that do you see it um but yeah they're heavy feeders so they don't like the typical house plant aerated soil they like more soil that they could feed from right. some roots will be lost hopefully not a lot ah oh, good only lost like one little one <laughs> cool Let's see if i could even i'm just gonna have to like remove all the soil that way i could see the root systems and break up the roots or the plant accordingly awesome so I was actually able to split them pretty pretty well I was surprised how easy that was and I didn't hear like a lot of like tearing of the roots so um, that's always a good sign for the longevity of the plant So out of that plant, I got a bunch of these little smaller clumps right here. I think I'm going to stick them all in like one. Yeah. And then I have three of these clumps here. Uh, these were like the more taller ones. And I was going for like that more higher like canopy type of look. So now I just need to find, I got three of those. Two of them are really big. The one's like medium and then I have a, yeah, this is the medium one. And then I have these small clumps. So now I need like four pots. I did bring some pots in here. Okay, you know what? I got two of these. I think I'm gonna utilize these. Yeah. Oh, and I got like this little planter thing. Oh, I can make like a little forest. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to fill that up. I'm going to use these three pots right here. I 
have this really cool pot here. I got this at Home Depot for free because somebody stole the actual plant that it came with and I came up to the register and I was like, hey, somebody stole this, can I get the pot for half off? And they're like, you could just take the pot. I'm like, cool, yeah, you see the leaves? I'm like, that's so cool. I'm actually just gonna reuse the potting mix that it came in because the plant was doing well with it and I don't see any like signs of bugs or anything crawling around so I'm just gonna keep using it. Okay, and this, I actually got four pots of plants out of this. Ah, uh, this one is so beautiful. I love, I love the pot. I love it. Um, this right here, I'm actually going to make it like a little fairy village out of it. Um, or a fairy house. It's too kind of small to be a village. But anyway, I thought the asparagus ferns were going to be like amazing in there. And I actually stuck one tall one right here. And then there's just like a little small one. Um, I know I'm not going to do the entire fairy design today, obviously. But I will get to it. In another video I'll show you guys updates and then I also have these two in these small little mini pots like seriously these are only probably like an inch and a half high yeah they're so tiny but you know what they're perfect okay so these syngoniums here are doing well but the bottoms not so much and look at the cute little planters it in. it's in. It's actually like in a wood type of themed pot. Um, they definitely outgrown the pot. So I'm going to have to get a different type of pot for it. And repot these and cut off the dead to the bottom. I actually need to go to the shed real quick. Because that's where I keep a lot of my pots for... Um, indoor and outdoor all right and there's my my stuff so for the pots for the syngoniums oh let's see i would like to use a tan colored pot like this because it will blend in with the base and won't like be so noticeable uh huh you know what even these pots they're like more of like a cream color not so much white ah come on and that would actually give more room too so i'm just gonna use what i got i'm gonna use these yeah, they're more of a cream color, so hopefully they won't be so noticeable. It's actually like really, I mean it's very humid, but it's mid-July, so what do you expect? But um, I really need to get out and I want to plant some more like zinnias and sunflowers and stuff like that. I mean, I have a lot. I mean, I already have some blooming. Uh, I will actually be giving a garden tour this week, but... Yeah, there's always stuff to do in the garden. I love it. My favorite hobby. Oh yeah, I just gotta chop off the dead leaves. It's gonna make me a liar. Come on. There you go. I could use a good drink and a new repot by the way the succulent pillows back there they're still having a sale the link is below in, in the description these are so pretty these are like the better designed ones that i see on the internet too like there's a few other companies that make succulent pillows but they're like the design is weird this one is like a true rosette so they got two different colors it's from Athesia's hippo so check them out if you like that kind of decor pot it's got all this small soft oh gosh that's so dry too okay this had no drainage in it like some of the plants i actually don't use any drainage in it so if you feel comfortable with that you can totally do it this i'm gonna add more soil too but yeah this guy was pretty dry uh roots are looking good 
Nice. I'm just gonna break up the root ball a little bit. Kind of stimulate some growth. Trying not to rip them, just kind of separate them a little bit. There we go. So I ended up doing this Syngoniums, I repotted them and cut off the dead and they really needed a repot, the soil was actually like hydroponic, yeah so it wasn't absorbing any water, it just needed more space and um, so they'll put on some new growth shortly. kind of like that, like this Syngonium, I don't know the actual name of it but it it's, has the greens with like a pink veining and then some like blushing throughout the uh, leaf. If anybody knows, put it in the comments. Like, there's a there's a close up of it. Hold on, focus. There we go. So, um, yeah, the pots aren't too bad. I mean, it's I'm just using what I have. I might put them in something different later in the road. Um, but it is what it is for right now. And I made a whole bunch more of these asparagus ferns and. I got a lot more to do as you can see look I made a mess oh my gosh I gotta clean that up but yeah it's just gonna take a while a little bit for all this to come together but it definitely will and again if you like the succulent pillows there's a link below in the description box check that out I'm gonna wrap it up for tonight and I'll catch you guys in another video bye